Hey everyone, Paul here with Seeking New Horizons, and I am coming to you from High Jolly Cemetery here in Courtside, Arizona, where there is something a little unique. This pyramid of native stone marks the resting place of High Jolly, a Greek born in Syria, also known as Philip Tedro and Haji Ali. High Jolly was hired in 1857 as a camel herder in the U.S. Army short lived historic camel corpse by Lieutenant Edward F. Beale in his expedition to chart a wagon road across New Mexico and Arizona, ending at the Colorado River. In 1861, the Civil War commenced, ending the day of the Camel Corpse. High Jolly returned to Quartzsite, trying his hand at mining, packing, scouting, delivering mail, and selling water to travelers. The Quartzsite Cemetery is named in honor of High Jolly. But a neat little piece of history here in Quartzsite, Arizona. Quartzsite, for being a small little town, actually has a lot of neat little features, and camels is just something that's special about Quartzsite. You'll find them everywhere including the town library. They have camels inside the library. It's pretty interesting. And they have some other neat stuff here at the site too. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna make it to all, but there's at least two more stops I wanna make real quick before we head back to camp today. All right, so we made it to our second and third stop. So we are here at the Quartzsite Park where they did the RTR and there's something here I didn't show you when I was here last time that I think is pretty cool. So here at the Quartzsite City Park, they not only have one fighter jet, but they have two fighter jets. I think this is pretty cool that they have these here. Like I said, it's a small town, but the fact that they got these here are really, really cool. But just something kind of neat here in Quartzsite, Arizona. Now, right across the street is a path to something else that's pretty neat in my opinion. So let's go check that out. They do got a pretty neat park here. They got a skateboarding area and then they got some play areas over there in the distance for the kiddos. Believe it or not, it is kind of uh, starting to die down here in Quartzsite. A lot of people have left in the past few weeks, but let me go ahead and uh, cross the street here real quick and we can get to this third stop. Then right across the street from the town park is the Great Tree of Arizona, an ironwood that is 1,050 years old. So we'll just follow this path and see if we can't find that tree. But it is starting to warm up here in Quartzsite. Uh, we hit 70 yesterday. We're gonna hit 70 again tomorrow, and I think it's supposed to be 70 for like the next week or so. And uh, when it's 70 here, it's warm. There's, we got some cloud coverage, but it doesn't really offer a whole lot of shelter from the sun. There's not a whole lot of trees at camp. So it gets pretty warm here, but I will take it over those Indiana winters any day. I do not miss the snow, even though, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of miss the snow because it is pretty, but I don't miss living in it and having to work in it, so. I believe this is the tree right here. She is quite beautiful. So they used a cut branch to determine the age of the tree. She's well over a thousand years old. They have a lovely bench for you here to sit at. And it's just a remarkable tree. Take a seat on this bench here, and I would say enjoy the shade, but the sun's at the wrong angle. I'm getting hit directly with it, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. And I don't know if you saw that, but uh, someone wrote sacred on the sign there, and I have to agree with them. This is a sacred tree. Look at the uh, new growth, and they do have little thorns on them, so I'm assuming to keep anything away that wants to eat it. Well, that was pretty neat, but I think I'm gonna head back to the van and head back to camp. There is a, another angle of those fighter jets for you all. I still think it's pretty cool they have those here. All right, made it back to camp. It's 
definitely starting to feel like home here in Quartzsite. Got the solar panels out, trying to capture the last of those sun rays for the day. But you know, you've been in a spot for a while when Siri asks you if you want to go home and it takes you straight back to camp. It definitely has been a nice spot for the past few months. However, I really am starting to get a little restless. I think there's at least one more place I really want to go to. I know in the last video I said I tried to take you guys back to Palm Canyon. I don't know if I'm going to make it there or not. Um, I'll try, but I'm not going to make any promises. But I do think, I do think sometime next week I'm going to go ahead and uh, pack up and hit the road. I will miss having these mountains for a view every morning and every evening for breakfast and dinner. But I do think I'm going to head west and hit up the California coast. I really want to see the coast before I head back to Indiana for work. And uh, I'm actually planning on heading back to Indiana earlier this year than I did last year. But I plan on starting work in like mid to early April, where last year I got back to Indiana and I started to work like a little kind of, I guess, early May. So I'll be there about a month or so early. So we'll probably have one more adventure here in Arizona before I take off for California. A lot of people have actually already started leaving this area. It's actually getting kind of empty as we speak, even though I did just get some new neighbors behind me. We lost a neighbor on the other side of me. So I just think it's that time of year where everybody's starting to move on. Um, like I said, it's starting to clear out here in Quartzsite. I've noticed a lot less and less people when I go out to town. And even coming through the LTVAs, I've noticed a lot of uh, people have moved on. So I think I'm going to be doing the same next week. But in the meantime, I'm hungry. I'm going to make some dinner. I do apologize. This is probably just going to be a short, sweet video. I've honestly been tired the past few days. Um, I haven't slept very well. Yesterday I went with my neighbors to the um, gym show. 90% of the vendors there, I would say, is probably already wrapped up and left. So I'm not going to be bother showing anything there. Uh, but maybe next year when I come through, we'll, we'll check it out together. But yeah, so I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, you all take care. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up and leaving a comment down below. And if you're enjoying this content, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell.